Okay, welcome back. Now let's talk about a little more details about the options. Um, by the default, the recommended by the printers um, for 0.4 nozzle, um, the layer height is 0.2 millimeters, which means from the bed to the extruder, um, there's actually space between 0.2 millimeters. Now, if the nozzle size increases, since there's more output, um, you can actually increase from 0.2 to up to 0.6 or 7 milliliters, uh, milliliters sorry, uh, so that it's faster to print. Um, the nozzle and everything else in order right now, it's in the mail, it should be arrived in about a week. So once I tested it out, I'll videotape it and maybe give some feedbacks. But for now, this is 0.2 milliliters. Um, some reason, even you do the uh, adhesion and it's still um, object gets lift up or doesn't stick to the bed. Another option you could do is to change the, um, the speed. The default is 50 millimeters per second, and you can uh, down to uh, 40 millimeters per second. Uh, so that by slowing down the speed, it might actually uh, print it uh, more stable. Um, in my experience, really didn't help too much. Um, you just have to make sure that the cold temperature or any wind or any change, uh, any temperature can be uh, can be changed or affected by it, uh, we need to get rid of that. Um, another thing is to make sure that the bed is constantly heated uh, for uh, PTG to 80 degrees. Uh, so make sure they are um, well warm. And then the second option is to get a, a case or enclosure to sort of uh, isolate the temperature of the bed and the printer itself should help you a lot. Um, so if you go down, there are a couple options. I don't even know all of it, uh, but the most, um, the uh, important ones is the, the layer height and then the print spin speed. Uh, also, if you are making something that are, uh, want to be a little more solid and more, whatever, uh, more um, sturdy, you could actually change these factors, the, the thickness of the wall, or um, if you look at later, see that inside of this shell will have sort of a web um, uh, structure to enforce the wall. You could actually make the thickness of that and also the, um, the fillings. So if you go to infill, uh, it gives you the percentage. You can increase the percentage by how solid you want. Uh, from my experience, if you increase the infill, um, he intend to uh, cave faster, which means uh, either the object gets lifted off from the bed or um, the filling itself uh, is, is not as normal as it should. Um, the reason is because these are plastics. So when it cools down, it tend to uh, retract. So have more uh, in there and the wall is not thick enough and the structure is not uh, well designed enough, you will cave it. So typically I would not recommend to mess with that unless you are the one who designed this object. Um, don't mess with that one, I recommend. Uh, but, um, and every other things are pretty much um, straightforward. You can um, you can kind of read it and see it. Now another cool thing or, or save my butt a lot of times is um, when I'm making changes here that and then I forgot what the default value is or um, what I changed. Uh, you can always go back by um, discard the current change and then go back to normal uh, original default um, value. So you can always kind of go back and, and restart. So that's about it. So hopefully um, this helped you to, uh, you know, able to print. And like I said, the most important part is to make sure that maximize the, the surface of the object to the bed. And if there's a uh, little or, or no or minimal, uh, make sure to put an adhesion uh, um, option to make sure that uh, um, it's more stick to the uh, bed. Thank you.